What's up guys? So what I'm gonna share with you is something that is helping me currently right now. So what it is, it's expression or healing through expression. Um, so how I um, explain it is what goes in must come out. And a lot of uh, what we do nowadays and a lot of what guys do especially is we suppress our feelings. So we hold these feelings inside of us, thinking that we can't cry, we can't get angry because it's not the right situation. We can't um, you know, express our opinion because we are afraid of what other people are going to think about us. But right there, that right there is poison, it's straight poison. What you're holding inside of you, that's what causes tumors, that's what causes cancer, that's what causes sickness and, and depression and sadness and all of that. That's what causes that, internalization of your feelings and emotions. So. One thing that um, I explain it as is, which I learned um, just recently, is what goes in must come out, like I just said. But um, how I'm explaining that is that when you breathe in air, it goes into your lungs. And what does it do? It comes right back out. So, and that's healthy. Another thing is eating. When you eat your food, guess what? You're gonna shit it out. And that's healthy. When you get constipated, that's not healthy. That's holding stuff in. When you go to the bathroom, when you drink water, and you have to go pee, that's healthy. When you take it in and take it out. A lot of people do like, you know, cleanses and flushing their system where they drink a lot of liquids and just clean their system out. That's also healthy. What it is, it's coming in and going out. And that creates a flow through your body, which keeps you initially mentally and physically healthy. But what we don't do is do that with our emotions. We take them in and we hold on to them, thinking that like, you know, I don't even know, like for me it was like the embarrassment of, of getting, you know, judged by other people. Or since I'm a guy I have to be tough and I don't want to cry. But that right there is a sickness in itself. And it's, it's kind of sad that we've kind of put this persona on, especially the male figure in, you know, we can't express how we feel truly right in that moment. So. My challenge for you and my advice for you is express yourself. Express yourself. It doesn't have to be through your voice. It doesn't have to be through crying or, or getting angry. It could be through expression, through movement, through dance, through meditation, through writing, through you know, physical activities. And, and, but I would say the number one way to heal yourself and to you know, continue that flow of energy is to talk to people. Find someone you're comfortable with and, and, and talk to them. Be completely honest with them because that feels so good. A lot of people, you know, when they, when they admit something or they come clean on something or they just, you know, express something that's been in them for a while, what do they say? They say, oh, it feels like a whole weight is lifted off of me. That's huge and that's exactly what it is. And when you're internalizing things, it's a weight and it's holding you down. And, and, it, and, it, and it creates these patterns in your life that aren't you. And so expression wipes that clean. It takes that weight off. It, it, it makes your mind clearer. It makes your body cleaner. cleaner. And it, it initially makes you happier. Because if you're holding on to sadness and, and holding on to grudges, you get depressed. And, you don't, and, you, and basically you're not happy. But letting that go creates that flow and makes you happy. So this is a life hack. Express yourself. Healing through expression. Remember, it doesn't have to be through all out emotion. It doesn't have to be through the deepest conversations of all time, you know? It could be just simply simple as even recognizing your feelings, just how you're feeling them. Like I'm going down the street, someone bumps into me, and instead of being like, like fuck that dude, like I don't, I don't like, now I'm going through the rest of my day, I'm pissed because that dude bumped me, no. Recognize that feeling. Damn, I'm, I got angry because that guy bumped me. Why did I get so angry right away? He did, he did nothing to me. He, didn't, he probably didn't do that on purpose. Let it go. Right there, that realization is also healing. It's taking that feeling in, that anger, realizing it doesn't serve you, and then letting it go. So my advice for you is to take your feelings, feel your feelings, express your feelings, and then let them go. There's no need to hold on to your feelings. There's no need. Create space for growth, love, and positivity.